Welcome to Culinary Alchemy. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to make a dark chocolate terrine. Before we begin, position your oven rack in the lower middle of your oven and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Then go find yourself an 8 by 5 inch loaf pan, lightly butter it, and line it with heavy duty aluminum foil, being careful not to tear the foil. Next, take 8 ounces of good quality coarsely chopped semi-sweet chocolate and combine it with 6 ounces of sliced unsalted butter. Take your bowl and place it in a pan of very hot but not simmering water and whisk the chocolate and butter together until they are fully melted. Now that your chocolate butter combination looks like this, take one half cup of freshly brewed coffee along with three quarters cup of granulated sugar and slowly whisk them into the chocolate mixture until they're completely combined. Next, take four large eggs, which you've beaten, and continue to whisk them into the chocolate mixture until they are fully incorporated. Once the mixture is fully incorporated, pour the mixture into your lined loaf pan. Set your loaf pan in a larger baking dish and surround it by one inch of very hot water. Place your baking dish in your oven for approximately 40 to 50 minutes and bake your tureen until the chocolate takes on a dull appearance, is slightly puffed around the edges, and doesn't jiggle when gently shaken. Once your tureen has baked, remove it from the oven and place it on a wire rack to cool to room temperature. When it's room temperature, take a piece of plastic wrap and cover the top, making sure not to let the plastic adhere to the surface of the tureen. Place your tureen in the refrigerator and chill it for a minimum of four hours. Once your tureen is chilled for a minimum of four hours, remove it from the refrigerator and using the foil as a guide, lift your tureen out of the loaf pan and flip it over onto a cutting board. Carefully peel off the foil. Using a hot dry knife which you've dipped in hot water and then dried off, cut your tureen into half inch slices. As a finishing touch, you may garnish it with a little bit of whipped cream. Now that you are finished, you can dig into your deluxe chocolate tureen. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe.